Tonight, a community just south of us is mourning the loss of a student and bus driver after a school bus crashed into a truck late yesterday. As our Keelan Berrien reports, the community of Midland, Pennsylvania, near Cranberry, is still reeling from that horrible crash. A school known for its arts and performances went through a tragedy on his way back home. I really, really feel sorry for him. I really, really do. The school bus rammed into the back of a tractor trailer on I-79 northbound. According to police, two deaths were reported, the bus driver and a 14-year-old student. I feel sorry for the, for the parents who lost uh, their loved ones and, and everything like that, and it's... It's just hard. It's just hard to say anything. Five teens injured was sent to nearby hospitals by ambulance or medical helicopters. I reached out to the school and officials, but no one had anything to share. Instead, the school sent a statement mourning their losses and asking for prayers. At this exact location is where the accident happened. We looked around to see if there was any skid marks on the ground and there were none. So it leaves the burning question that everyone has been asking. What was the bus driving doing to cause this accident? They have kids from all over the state of Pennsylvania to, to come here, so um, <clears throat> it's, 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 just, it's, it's just awful that they've, they've lost one of their students. Fortunately, Leslie and Eric Bower from Erie was behind the school bus and didn't hesitate to giving helping hand. Leslie helping students off of the bus and Eric holding the hand of a trapped student. See how traumatized they are? It's just sad because they're young and this is a lot for them to take in. An act of kindness and bravery would take this couple a long way. Keelan Berrien, Erie News Now.